Isn't it so appropriate that the sun would shine today for our Abby's wonderful <laughs> book launch with a sunflower on the cover? <laughs> Don't we all feel well when the sun comes out? I'm really, really honoured to be here today and to have been asked by Abby to say a few words at this really exciting, auspicious time, shall we say. I've known Abby for many years as a colleague, as a friend, but there is another way that I know her that's very relevant to her book, her many books, her workshops, her CDs, and her client work, that I'm privy to how she actually works with her clients, because I am Abby's supervisor. Some of you may know that as counselling psychotherapists, we have to be supervised once a month, because when we're trained, <coughs> Obviously, we're in a classroom situation, but once we go out into the world with zeal and fervor and we're so excited to work with clients, we're in the room on our own with the client. So it's important that once a month, somebody has that sharing privilege. And I'm very, very honored to be that person for Abby at the moment. So not only do I know her as a colleague and as a friend, and as a reader of her books and a listener to her CDs, but I'm also very intimately involved with how she works. I can say unequivocally that Abby Wynn has a generous heart. She's a wise soul and she's a visionary. And that's really, really important in Ireland today, in our world, because we are at an important crossroads. Many of us aspire to be well. And there are bookshops like this, wonderful self-help books. But today, Abby has carved out a new genre, the self-care book. And her written voice is as eloquent as her spoken voice. Those of you who will be used to her online work or her CD work, her beautiful dulcet tones, but her written voice is equally as powerful. Because Abby is a woman who walks her talk. And she walks her talk daily as a wife, as a mother, as a friend, as a daughter, as a sister. And through her wonderful, dare I say it, the ordinariness, the extraordinariness of her ordinariness, she shares not just theories, but hard-won ways of walking her talk. She knows intimately what is in this book. And she shares it in such a way to excite, to motivate, and to inspire. So it's not a chore or a, oh, I have to read this book and sort my life out. As we've seen this evening, <coughs> picking up this book, that there's an excitement about it. And she does it with such ease and such grace and such elegance that we are indeed very lucky. I'm going to let you into a little bit of a counselling psychotherapy secret. There is a, a large organisation, the largest in Ireland, called the Irish Association of Counselling and Psychotherapy. And we all need to be members and insured and fully paid up to practice. And there's a magazine that comes out every quarter, a seasonal magazine. And for many years, Irish counsellors and psychotherapists like myself and Abby would read HSEC magazine and we'd, oh look, wow, psychotherapy, counselling, and the environment. And we'd go, we've been doing that for years. And then a few years would go and we'd go, oh, psychotherapy and body work. We've been doing that for years. And we always waited for somebody from America, or somebody from France, or somebody from Australia to come up with the new ideas, until one day, Abby Wynn decided, you know what, why can't we do it here? Why not in Ireland? The Celtic soul and all that jazz. <laughs> it's coming up out of the land, out of the stones. So she very bravely and courageously wove together a way of being, of bringing the mind and the emotions in her counselling work 
in tandem with the physical one and the energetic and the spiritual. So this is a truly, truly holistic book. And I feel that's what we've all been yearning for for a long time. That with any issue we have in our life, if we deal with it mentally and emotionally, will that help? Absolutely. If we deal with it in a physical way, through how we eat, through how we exercise, will that help? Absolutely. If we deal with it in a spiritual way, energetically, but it's the combination of the whole lot. That is the secret key. And Abby, our visionary, certainly has put this together in this excellent book. I think you only have to read the praise at the start of the book. Hay House has a wonderful way, as indeed many authors, where they, they get their other authors to read. So it's like a peer review, so to speak. <laughs> and I mean, often you might pick up the acknowledgements in a book and they're sort of perfunctory or a bit cursory, but this absolutely says it all. I love, I'm not sure whether it's, is it Carolyn Miss or Stuart Pierce who says, this book is totally Abby. <laughs> and I just thought I totally concur with that because it is. So I'm very, very honored to be here today to introduce Abby to talk a little bit about her book. But before she talks eloquently to you, I'm just going to quote something that jumped out at me of her words. The how to be well knits together the gaps in our soul <coughs> to fill the spaces with love. And if there's one word that describes Abby of all that's in her book and that I've said, this is a woman of love. Thank you. Thank you.